Hello, welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of May, 2021. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and comment down below if these are energies you connect with. Also, if you're interested, all signs are up for the month of May 2021, if you're interested in checking another sign out. All right, let's see what messages we have for Aquarius. Queen of Swords. King of Cups. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, many cards four of pentacles queen of pentacles Okay, Aquarius, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, you have one a major arcana, which is the Empress, and I feel like this is uh, a love situation, a relationship situation, um, even though it's a general reading, it looks like it's a love situation. You, you feel like you or you will feel like you will see clear, finally, on a relationship. On a relationship that has been stuck, that has been complicated. Uh, you have been heartbroken. This has been something that's been going on for a while, which you wanted to get out of. Six of Swords. You... You have seen clear though, right? You're not tolerating, tolerating any more bullshit. This has been a relationship that has been pulling you on all sides. You have tried to discuss. King of Cups is clearly your person that loves you, that wants to be with you. We'll pull more cards. Um on that and there's clearly love with the empress be careful aquarius not to get pregnant if that's not something you want to do right empress sometimes is there to say there is a pregnancy but to get back to this relationship where it has been clear that you have been stuck that you have uh, felt left out in the cold because you couldn't figure it out and because you're heartbroken. 
you're very independent, Aquarius. It, this is not gender specific, of course, and it can go both ways, right? You're very independent. You want to be independent financially or they want to be independent financially. Take it as it is, as it resonates in your, your, in your journey, right? But they, they, um, the money situation seems to be important. And the money situation for your person seems to be what might be the problem as to you want to be independent, you want to be financially successful and independent, and you want to make sure that this relationship is financially secure, a long-term relationship where you can build on, build together, move on to the next step, right? Because you have both the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, which both tell me that you, uh, uh, um, finance finances are important for you, right? And if this person is not um, financially secure or secure enough for you or bringing whatever you expect to the table, right? Whatever you expect from someone in values and boundaries and in, in financial security, right? You are going to move away. You're not going to uh, stay with someone that is not on your level, Aquarius. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Clarify the Queen of Swords. So you're seeing clear. I, and I think you, you see clear after maybe a moment of, of, um, of honeymoon phase, of, you know, something that we, was really wonderful, and then all of a sudden, you know, take, take the rose-colored glasses off, and things started to go array. And you didn't, you tried to discuss it, try to sort things out, understand both your values, what you expect from each other and what you desire and um that was difficult that was difficult why is the queen of swords here yes now the queen of wands you have the queen of swords the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles and the nine of cup the um nine of pentacles and the empress a lot of women around you Aquarius, a lot of important women around you. They can be mother figures, grandmother figures, um, family, important feminine, feminine energies, Do, not gender specific, doesn't have to be, but it's a fem, um, it's, they are all feminine energies and they are all very important in your life, very powerful. And it seems that they are all there to support you, there to love you, and to help you along the way and guide you through this moment, guide you to your goals, guide you to what you desire and what you want in life, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a beautiful person to have by your side. There's someone that will support you, that will be there for you at all times even in tumultuous times she will see someone that's trusted trustworthy that's loyal and that would will always listen to you guide you and be by your side and have your on your best interest and the the queen of uh, wands she is very optimistic and very energetic and and really um believes she can make anything happen, right? The Queen of Wands is, is confident and very self-assured. Can be you, can be you um, as well, Aquarius, um, because now you are in your power, understanding, seeing clear, 
seeing this story clearly, seeing this person clearly, understanding who they are, and understanding, you know, that the conflict you've had or, you know, or the difficulties you've had in this relationship is clear now. You know, you don't have, you're not in the fog anymore and you're not in that honeymoon phase anymore. You see them for who they are, this King of Cups. And the, the King Queen of Wands is, you know, very passionate, very focused very individualistic, right? And that is why um, connecting back to what I was saying in the beginning, you are independent. You're financially independent. You're very driven and you sometimes, you know, you're, you're positive and uplifted, right? And, but this is also someone, if it is not you, Aquarius, this is someone that will stand up for you, as will the Queen of Pentacles. She will always be on your side and always stand for, be there for you, right? And I really feel you have, they can be friends, they can be sisters, they can be mothers, they can be grandmothers, they can be, you know, anybody that's important and, and powerful in your circle, in your, in your dynamic. Lots of people that are pushing you through, guiding you. Who's this King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Oops, too many cards. Why is the King of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is the King of Cups here for Aquarius? Oops, too many cards again. Why is the King of Cups here? Okay. Yes, they, the King of Cups, which is, you know, the person in this relationship, in this uh, dynamic, they, they want to reconnect. Page of Pentacles. They, they still have desire, right, for you. And they want to message you. They want to come back in contact with you. But, and they also have ambition, right? So maybe they're pulled in different directions. Maybe, maybe they want to be with you. And, um, you know, maybe they feel like they are not doing enough or not successful enough right six four of oh okay not that all right let's let's see what the empress is oh okay there we go two of cups yes there there's the relationship i'll put the two of cups on on the empress yeah there's a lot of emotion there there's a lot of love there there is respect between you there is emotional you know, nurturing and caring for each other, right? This is a partnership. This is a connection, a soulmate connection, right? Something, you, someone you're, you're, you're truly, truly attached to, but it's not easy. They still have desire. They still want to connect. But in this situation here where you're blocked, both blocking each other out and both heartbreak here let's see what's going on in the with the nine of uh pentacles nine of pentacles why is the nine of pentacles here yeah it's again the five of pentacles and it's on the nine of pentacles which is being independent financially independent financially successful uh very comfortable in 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 your skin comfortable with who you are um loving your your environment loving you know really really enjoying life enjoying uh, having you know what you need and being where you want to be and really enjoying that and clearly it is difficult right um because they are not there anymore, 
and you're not enjoying that vibe anymore. And you feel left out in the cold. And you feel like this is not, you know, you're not going to be able to make this work out. You feel, you feel sort of abandoned. And you want to move away, right? You, you, want, you want it just to be calmer. You want to get out of that conflictual cycle. Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? Why is the Six of Swords here for Aquarius? Sticky situation, Aquarius. The cards are not coming out. Did you not tell them you wanted to leave? Ah, yeah, it's hard. It's the end of a cycle. It's been difficult. It's been very difficult. And and did you tell them? I don't know. Did you tell them this was done? Or did they tell you? Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords. Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. Five of Pentacles. It's the end of a story. Let's see. They're waiting. They are waiting. You're waiting. You're both waiting. Yeah, you're both waiting. You're both worried and sad and trying to figure things out. And the moon is really here to reflect. Reflect on, on yourself. Reflect on the situation. And understand, really what why this happened or you know what what it is exactly that happened and um you know it's it it's really you know projecting your fear into into the present situation and sometimes based on past experience is not always based on reality but it is something you want. It is something, a situation you wanted to happen. Maybe you wanted to marry this person. Maybe you thought this person was the one. Maybe you you thought you were going to move in together or, or you know, or start a family together. And uh, this moon and this five of pentacles just tells me that this is, is not able to happen in the way you thought it was going to happen. End of a cycle. But you have a lot of pages. Page of page of um page of wands, page of pentacles. Did we have a uh, another page? No. Um it, which tells me that you there there is a, a desire to start again. There's a desire to be with one another. There's a there's a desire for freedom as well. So um, let's see if there is something um, that comes up on this three of um, three of hearts, three of swords. Sorry, three of hearts. Yeah. Three of Swords on the Three of Swords, a lot of conflict, a lot of battling it out, trying to figure it out, competition, who's right, who's right, I'm right, who's right, I'm right, you know, I wanted this, I wanted that, I don't understand why you did this, you know, and, and this is where you stand now, and this is where you are, you tried to figure it out, but... It seems very complicated, very compromised, uh, Aquarius. You had hope. You know, the star's hope. The star, star is wishing for it to be good, right? Wishing for it to come together and be together and start a family together or start, you know, and, and to be in control and stable you know, financially stable. Four of Pentacles. That's why I think that this whole reading, this 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 relationship, 
is also the base of the issue, the base of the conflict here and the hurtful situation is because one is feeling not enough, one is feeling left out and feeling they're not making enough money or having the right career or be having the right social status. So maybe you are from different cultures or maybe you are from different social levels or have come from different different countries or different right it's just different vibes and uh it is difficult to maybe your expectations are not the same maybe your values are not the same maybe your boundaries are not the same and you realize that no matter how much you wanted this how much you hope for it wished for it, prayed for it, right? Wanted it to be fair, just wanted a positive outcome. Uh, no matter how much you battled it out and, and um, wanted this to happen and, and wanted this person in your life, it's, it's they're very difficult. Your differences might be in the way, your cultural differences, or, you know, might be someone you're not used to. And, um, but it doesn't mean it can't happen. It just means that you have to balance things out and talk things out and understand what you're each made of and what you each expect of each other and maybe bring two worlds together, right? Because now these are two worlds colliding, two worlds that are different and different people learning how to... Um, um, love each other, learning how to respect each other for who they are, for their, their differences, different in culture or difference in social status or difference in whatever it is, whatever it is that corresponds to you, right? But it seems to me that that dynamic is, is tricky, right? It's tricky. One person feels less than the other, or they feel like they have to do more, or they feel like they have to earn more, or they feel like they have to be in a different career or, or, you know, yes, a different job or, or a different type of, uh, of job. Right. And, and so, um, one person seems very comfortable financially and the other person not. Again, the Empress, be careful if you don't want to get pregnant. You have two times the, pre the, the, the empress. The empress is nurturing, loving, caring for one another. Um, and, but it's, it's the ultimate mother love, right? Can be a mother figure, can be a sister figure or a grandmother figure, right? And the empress is the, the ultra feminine energy, which is the counterpart of the emperor, which is the masculine energy, right? Someone that's divinely feminine. And, and you have two times the empress, which tells me that you potentially, you know, might be pregnant or might get pregnant. So beware, Aquarius, if that's not something that you, um, you are planning for or wished for. Why is the queen of pentacles here? And again, lots of women here, lots of feminine energy around this conflict conflictual relationship this conflictual connection a lot of people i wouldn't say butting in because it doesn't feel like that it just feels like these are very important people in your life aquarius that are trying to guide you through and give you advice or help you in whichever way they can and help love you and care for you and make sure you're okay um, and then uh, the Eight of Cups, yeah, which is leaving, leaving behind, leaving everything behind. And you have the, the Six of Swords and uh, the Eight of Cups, which is leaving, leaving behind, escaping, done. Let's see if there is uh, one more message for this, uh, oops, right out, okay, for this. Uh, reading for the sign of Aquarius, you have the Knight of Swords, so, uh, something happening very quickly, and a new beginning. I almost feel like I need another card on this, right? All right, let's see if there's another card. If this is this person, or you're having a new beginning with someone else, ah, 
Yeah, you're still stuck. So I think that this person wants to come back in and they really want uh, to start with you again, to start a new be new beginning with you. And um, I, I think that, you know, the energies are sort of stuck still, but they are rushing in right here, Aquarius, to make this happen. So up to you your choices your life these are only cards right um everybody has their own life and their choices and uh uh it, it is up to you if this is something that you connected with this is this is a reading that you connected with uh please comment down below share subscribe thank you so much for all your likes again all signs are up for the month of May if you um, are interested in checking them out. Thank you, Aquarius. Be well. Bye-bye.